Welcome to the Ellen Browning Scripps Memorial Pier, one of the most recognizable landmarks in La Jolla and an icon of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. The original Scripps Pier was built in 1916, thanks to funds from siblings Ellen and E.W. Scripps. That structure, made of wood and reinforced concrete, survived many years and storms with extensive repairs in both 1926 and 1946. Concerns about stability led to construction of the current pier in 1988 alongside the original structure, which was later removed. In 2018, a project was initiated to replace the wood railings with a more modern look and with materials that would be sustainable under the marine atmosphere and environmental conditions. As one of the world's largest research piers, the 1,090-foot-long pier is an active scientific hub and is closed to the public. It serves a major function to Scripps oceanography through five main uses. One use is for access to fresh seawater, a critical resource for a marine institution. The pier is sloped with a six-foot gradient, allowing seawater to flow by gravity through a trough to the base of the pier. The water is then filtered and pumped to a series of holding tanks. This system supplies fresh seawater to experimental aquarium facilities, Birch Aquarium at Scripps, the NOAA Southwest Fisheries Science Center, the Hydraulics Laboratory, and a variety of individual laboratories. 1.8 million gallons of seawater are pumped each day. The pier also serves as a boat launching facility. Scripps scientists and students embark on approximately 300 small boat operations a year to support nearshore research, obtain feed supply for marine organisms at Birch Aquarium at Scripps, and for training operations. Small boats can be launched from either side of the pier via a three-ton overhead bridge crane to lower the boats into the ocean. Another use of the pier is for scientific diving instruction. The scientific diving program at Scripps Oceanography is the oldest and one of the largest research support programs of its kind in the United States. The program trains and supports the university's scientists, students, and technicians in the use of techniques and technologies necessary to safely conduct their research underwater. The pier serves as an instrument mounting platform and continuous sampling station. Scripps Oceanography has the longest daily seawater surface temperature monitoring program in the Pacific Rim, which originally started in 1916. To this day, Collection of seawater for temperature and salinity readings is done by hand and maintained by the Shore Stations program at Scripps. The pier also houses meteorological stations and radar units for measuring surface currents. Intake valves at the end of the pier supply air samples for analysis of airborne particles known as aerosols and a variety of gases including oxygen and carbon dioxide. On the pier's pilings, the Scripps Plankton Camera System documents plankton in the water column in real time. Scripps Pier is also a vital teaching tool, with undergraduate and graduate classes visiting the pier to learn about data collection, instrumentation, chemistry of the ocean, and more. For more information on the Ellen Browning Scripps Memorial Pier, visit scripps.ucsd.edu.